Tim, Phil, Teresa, and Matt for hosting this amazing weekend. Sarah, you are absolutely gorgeous. And Tim, just stunning. <laughs> I also want to thank all of you for making this weekend COVID safe so that we could eat, drink, and be merry together. <laughs> I, uh, I've written this about seven times over, and I was never happy with it, but um, including this morning. Tim witnessed me writing it, this is a fact. Um, but, I mean, I, uh, there's a lot of stress built up in here. I, uh, the theme is that I love Tim so much that I, there's, there's no way I could ever express in words what I actually want to say here. Um, so this is just gonna be, Basically how I know Tim and how I know Sarah. We got a Google Images of our pocket scores so it came like this. YouTube. Yeah, it's a lot of What's your dog's name? Mia. Mia. Name. Hey Mia. <laughs> much as I've regretted actually speaking to every single one of you here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, they should have never done that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, so this, this is for Tim and Sarah. I love you both. And... Uh, All these years have prepared us and made me confident we are ready for our marriage. All of the disagreements and hardships we have felt in the past will strengthen us for the future. Not everything we face moving forward will be easy, but together we can handle it. I know the constant support you have given me over the last nine years has been unwavering and will continue in our marriage. And I promise to support you as well as we take the next steps into our lives. I promise so many more things to you than just my support. I promise every day to be a loving husband and eventually a loving father. I promise to be patient and thoughtful to understand how you're feeling. I promise to be fun and spontaneous, because boring is lame. I promise to call you out when you deserve it, but also accept it when I do. I promise to aspire to be a better person every day. I promise to wait for you to start the next season of Survivor or Top Chef. And I absolutely promise every day I will love you more than I did the day before. Today is just the beginning of the rest of our lives, and I am so happy I get to spend it with my best friend. Nine years of memories isn't enough. We have at least 79 more to make it to three centuries. Tim, I have hoped she chose you from the first moment I met you. It's true. I had a feeling that you were exactly what Sarah needed. You are all the things I have wished for my little sister. You are strong, smart, steady, and kind. You are already a wonderful uncle to my children, and I am so proud that today you officially become my brother. Tim. Cheers to our past and all of the moments that brought us to where we are now. I promise to always sing Hamilton with you whenever you like, which if you don't know is a lot. <laughs> I promise to snuggle on the couch with a cheese board and wine whenever you'd like, also a lot. Um, I promise to always laugh at your jokes, even if I've heard them a hundred times before. 
I promise um, to always love you for who you are, but to also encourage uh, you to always go after your dreams. I promise that I will always choose you. I promise to not only be your wife, but your best friend. I promise to remember that it won't always be easy, but that having you by my side makes it worth it. I promise to always see the light in you, even when you don't see it in yourself. I promise to be the best wife I can be. I love you, Tim. Nine years down, 99 to go. And now, by the power vested in us, by both the universe and the state of Maryland, pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Hush, head flush. It's like jumping into the lake at night. It's my Yeah.